All right, guys, this is another one on the HDX 68 from Umarex, the pump action shotgun. Um, all right, so I just did a video on this power plenum buffer chamber uh, tube. You've all seen, I have this tube hollowed out somewhere in the back here. And if you've seen in the, my HDR 50, HDR 68, even the compact, um, yeah, I was cracking off, like, like, when you see my long setups cracking 150, 120 joules, I'm getting the same joules with half the length with this, uh, air chamber, but I showed massive videos, I've gotten as high as 35 extra joules just by adding this, but as you can see, um, I had this old ASA on off, I tapped and threaded for, uh, oh, it's still got all the Teflon tape in there, stuck in the threads, but yeah, this is an on-off, so what you guys seen before, you seen this was in here. So, but the fact is, when I tried to power plant them, see in there? Look, hold it up to the light. Can't see nothing through it, so that's restricted. All my air in the power plant them, it's not going through this adapter fast enough, so I was still getting the same numbers as as before, the first test. But now I went and I grabbed... Um, it's basically like one of these. Um, it's an 88 gram to HPA. This is an 88 gram to uh, Soda Stream. But yeah, so basically what I did was the same thing as I done with this. I hollowed that, I drilled that out and tapped and threaded it. And then, yeah, so I did that with this too, with uh, NPT 1 8. And then I also drilled that straight through, so it's wide open. <clears throat> I just want to see if it's going to make any differences. It should, but I'm only using 800 PSI. I have 1100 tank ready to go too, so we're just going to see the results. But um, yeah, I also have, boom, I got a power, or sorry, um, this is a master cylinder from Jonathan Scott. I've connected this on my HDR50 and also brought it up 35 extra joules. And I have a video showing it. I've also brought the HDP up 50 to uh, around 120 joules as well with this. But yeah, I got a 35 increase just from the HDR and uh, my setup with it. So yeah, so when all, everything else, all my practicing and trial and error is done with all these different setups, this will be the final way. This plug here is an M13. And it plugs right into the valve, so you just create some support inside for this, extra support, and then that's good, man. You just plug your tank in from there. And this was getting a huge increase for Jonathan Scott. Um, he showed me a video of it in the chronograph testing. But also, where I have a... My valve comes out, and then it goes down 90 degrees and over 90 degrees. This here will fit in. Look at that. I thread it on the inside, 1 8 NPT. So now I can screw that in, but the problem is it makes this come out to about there. And then when you put your ASA in, it comes out longer. So, yeah, so I might just go with Jonathan Scott's method and just go straight into the valve. Like, it'll bring this up, like, a little bit higher like this. And then I'll have to remove some of that top frame material. But uh, I'm just trying everything in between before I have to remove all that material. Because that's last resort. Because once you remove that material, there's no going back. So I'm just trying to see if I can work it. I, and then this power plenum tube, this, the master cylinder fits right in there. Up until this part. You just have to grind around and then maybe grind some of this down. I don't really want to grind some of that down. Because anyways, that's all for later guys. Um. I just want to get this test and see what these numbers are doing here. Alright, so there's the crony. We can see it now. <clears throat> I'm using the same as I've always been using for these tests. I should be using the jewels. They're bigger in diameter. They fit the barrel better. But uh, this HDX seems to like the 9.9s. I don't know why. They're only 682. Jewels are 686. They, they hug the bore of the barrel better. To make a better less pressure loss anyways let's get this crony on and see what happens here all right 
right, so let's gas this sucker up. All right, we got a click. Oh yeah. All righty, let's see what we get. Home safety. Alright, let's try. I got a little leak. Ugh. That's only 800 PSI, so now we're up to 44 joules with 800 PSI. Um, I'm going to plug the 1100 tank in. I don't know what that was. That sounded like an O-ring flutter. Like the O-ring wanted to come out. Uh... Yeah, it could be the two also where I got the Teflon tape. I have this hydraulic Loctite I was using, but it requires 72 hours of curing, and I only gave it 24 and it was leaking on me, so I got mad, I removed it, and then I just Teflon taped my tap screw and I put it in, and I was pretty good sealed um, until now. So, yeah, I'm going to go in and fix it after, but I'm just going to connect. We sprung a little leak, so I'm going to... I'm going to hook this 1100 PSI up and just see if we get any differences here. Um, yeah, so let's try this again. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think it's the O-ring. I, I didn't lube it. Shit, there's no fucking oil in there. Sounds like it wants to come out. Pretty consistent. Yeah, that's definitely the O-ring flutter. It just needs to be wet. Oh, I'm empty. Oh, shit. Um, let me just degas this. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm down to about 1500 PSI. So, yeah, you know what? We'll just call it there. Um, um, so let me see here. We got. 35, so 342, 357, so 357, was it high? <clears throat> 342, Yeah, 357 looks like our high number. Uh, let me check that out. Yeah, I'll turn these around so you guys can see the screen. <clears throat> um, so, we're using the PVC iron balls. They're 10 gram. 9.9, .9, 10 gram. They say 10 gram on the thing, but my scale is not free here, so I, I trust them. 10 grams at 3. I forget. Was it 357? <clears throat> yeah, I believe so. I'm not. Um, 
Calculus, right? 59 joules. We're reading about 60 joules almost. So yeah, that's not bad. 60 joules, that's right where I want to be. So if I just get this sealed up, I'm going to replace, that's still the stock O-ring I got in there. So I'm going to, if I would have put the oil in, my silicone oil, that you wouldn't have heard that fluttering. Um, this is an old marker. I barely use it. It sits up on my wall. So I'm going to replace the O-ring and I'm going to ultra silk it down and then I'm going to install it. And then I'm going to not forget to use my T4E oil to keep that and my silicone oil in with, in between shootings. Because I was shooting some of this last night too and uh, yeah, it's bone dry in there. <laughs> but uh, there you have it guys. Um, we're almost at 60 joules. We're at 59 joules. Uh, I'll just show you the screen. 59 joules. So... Yeah, I just got to go in there and take care of that leak. Mm, but, uh, yeah, that's the power plenum. Um, I, I actually thought it was going to give more, but that's okay. We just got to figure some of this more out. Uh, this is still new to me, so, yeah, lots more to come, guys. Y'all stay safe, take care, and have fun.